please meet her friends. So yesterday it was feeling strange. And so I decided to give in to capitalism and finally go for a shop again and went to a shopping center that's quite far out, like 50 minutes from me. And I went to not only Bershka but also Primark and might have treated myself a little bit. So I'm just gonna show you what I got. I hope you enjoy. I'm already wearing like all the things I got from Bershka. I actually got Kuro knee socks. I'll insert a little clip and a pic of the ones I mean. And I'm hopefully getting them again. I have to see a little bit. And I paid for them. And I got home. And I don't know, I think I really fell out while she was putting them in. Or she, I don't know. Because they clearly couldn't have fallen out from the huge bag. Which is this one since I was carrying it like that for the whole time. So I don't know what happened. I'm pretty pissed about it because I paid for it. They were eight bucks and they were super cool. They were pink, black, and purple ones. And there is never any other character except Hello Kitty in Europe. So I really wanted to support this. And like I obviously wanted them for my own personal game. Yeah, so I got the socks again, even though I paid twice. But these are the socks. They're adorable, right? Yes. To the cooler mood up, but otherwise, this is actually from the men's section and it's from Bershka. And I just had to get it, it's 30 euros. And like the detailing is just immaculate. I'm wearing a size XL men's, and this is the back. Yeah, like I don't know if you love it as much as me, but I absolutely love it. I have to get anything sakura themed. So I couldn't resist. And on that note, I'm also wearing, I'm gonna put the camera down a little bit for that, I think, it's better, yeah. I'm, like these I like just put on, and I was quite brave, and I somehow already managed to make them dirty, believe that. But I think they look really good. I was brave enough and just got them in a size M. I noticed that Bershka pants really fit me super well, and I'm only gonna buy pants there. I haven't been into pants for very long, I used to never wear pants ever. So I really like them, they fit quite nice and like the flare out here. So maybe I can show you like this. And I really like that style. Uh, yeah. They're really comfortable because they yeah, like a size I meant they fit quite nice. I have a tiny waist but still yeah obviously you could wear all your panties so that you don't have pain but like yeah they're not necessarily safe for either so yeah. And these were 20 bucks. Uh, yeah, I really think they're cute. It's fun because I used to think uh, they're not, but I think they're really good looking. Yeah. So that's the two films I got, and then I'm gonna take this off so you can see the other thing, which just screamed my name. Like, I didn't even look at the price, which never happened to me before. <laughs> and it's a bit wrinkly, I don't know how that happened, but. It's this. Like, if this doesn't scream me, this is literally the perfect colors I use when I do graphic design. So, like, oh my god. I love it so much. This was actually 30, which isn't very cheap, but I still would have bought it anyway. But I was shocked when I paid, like, for real. I mean, I knew that it couldn't be that bad because, like, British good prices aren't hor horrendous or anything. But yeah, so I got this. And like, do you get why I love it? Like, I hope you get it. But like, it's just so cute, what the hell? Like, I can't believe that this exists. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I should probably. Yeah. So, I love this. Yes. I don't know, I don't have anything else to say, maybe I should come closer. Look at the little clouds, look at the blue tiger. It's the perfect thing. What does it say in the back? Endless power. Yeah, that's 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 cool, <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah, and so since the my uh, Kuromi socks got stolen, uh, they're not here. Um, so I'll show you the stuff I got from Primark. So one thing I'm actually currently using, because I couldn't resist, I couldn't resist this, it's Winnie really Pooh cool mug, I already used it twice, I got it like yesterday, it's huge, 
And yeah, it says never stop dreaming. Yes, I had to read it again because I uh, my short memory is it's very good. It's seven euros. It's amazing. Like, have anything else to say about that? And then, oh yeah. So I got these. This is one. Like, I had two reasons for going. The main reason being I was kind of sad, and capitalism made me think that this gives me serotonin. So. I got these uh, cotton panties because I always have them when I have my period or like in general if it's a bit irritated I'll wear these. Uh, they're only 450 for one, two, three, four, so that's obviously a great price and I got these because they're really pretty. Um, yeah. And I got this in a size S even though I usually get M but Primark changed the sizing so now I wear an S. Uh, which whatever but I always have to remember. Uh, yeah. And then I got these, which are workout shorts technically, but I like always cut uh, if I go out and I'm wearing a really short dress or a short skirt and like I'm dancing and moving a lot. And in general, because there's creeps everywhere, sadly, uh, I tend to like cut um, old tights up so that they go all the way up there, so I have some food to cover. But since these are apparently sweat proof breathable, quick dry and can stretch for ways, I don't know. Um, I got them. Yeah, I got these in a size S as well and they were hundred. Uh, what's the price? Um, I can find the price but I'm very sure they were, oh here, 5 euros. So yeah, I got them for going out and for roller skating, I think it's probably good. They also had purple sports bra, which we came back have actually kind of regretted getting to pick those up. But whatever. This is very nice. Um, I'll just put this here. Then I already actually have this in white. I got this on a random trip to Primark when I was in the Netherlands because I really needed a big sweater because I was an idiot and thought it was the same, um, like like as cold, as warm as it would be in Austria, which it was not, it was absolutely freezing, even though it was just like beginning of September and I was just an idiot. So I got these two in other colors, because I got this in white there, because it was, it's really cheap, it's 350, like on the basics. So it's not a bra, but it's a top, but I wear it as both. Like, you don't need to wear a bra with it, because it has something underneath, even if you're not usually very comfortable with that, which I'm one of those people, it works really well. Uh, and I also got it in pink, and so yeah, they're only 350, I actually get them in XS, and I'm gonna put them on for use, and you know what they look like. So, they are obviously, since I get XS, very uh, stretchable. And yeah, you can only see the nipples a bit right now because I literally have the window open and it's snowing outside. I hope it's not too loud, but otherwise it gets too hot in here. Yeah, like they're super stretchable and I just wanted them to be very tight. That's why I got excess. And since they changed the sizing, I guess uh, it's like a normal S, so that makes sense. Yeah, I, I really love these tops. I've been wearing uh, the white one I have like so much, like I've washed it countless times, like that's why I wanted to get more and like it's really good quality. So even if it's 350, I've been wearing it like like at least a couple times a week, every week since fucking September and it still looks completely fine. And yeah, you were like, oh my God, that's normal. But if you're used to buying cheap clothes like I am because I don't have a big budget, don't shame me. By the way, I wanted to talk about this a little bit. I really, like recently especially, I get really pissed off because I used to remember a bunch of people used to shame me for going to Primark, but then went to Zara or H&M. Like, I'm sorry I don't have uh, money for going to fast fashion that is expensive. Like, it's still fast fashion. Like, I either don't buy any fast fashion, but then don't shame, like, shaming people never works. And like, ugh. Yeah, I just want, I just, this always irked me. And people always, like, especially back home, made such a big exception to, like, oh, but I buy an H&M, and I'm like, is that better, really? I don't know. It's like, yeah. Uh, so that's that. Yes, so it's the same thing, just in black. Uh, yeah. Looks pretty well, I think. Looks really nice. Uh, yeah. 
So then I got something I really wasn't sure about to be honest and I still am not but then like Primark is so far away and I stood in line for a long time and I want to avoid just going back for one thing so I might immediately even sell this but somehow I think I honestly just got it because it reminded me so much of my friend like she's so pretty and she wears stuff like this and I don't know if it's even my thing do you get that sometimes I was like oh it's so nice but I don't only think I literally just got it because it reminds me of my friend, I think. So I don't know if I actually even want to wear it myself. But it, I don't think it's her size, so it's like... Uh, yeah. But it's this skirt. And I don't know, it's not like... Maybe a couple of years ago this would have been my style a bit, but... So I got it in 36 and it was 14 euros. Uh, I'll try it on, I guess. So it definitely fits. I'll see when it gets warm, it's like... It's obviously still too cold right now, and it's not again. Okay. I don't know, like, I like the shape, it, the fit looks fine too. I don't know, what do you think? Like, maybe with some fish hats and black, it actually looks nice. So maybe I was right for getting it, but I'm still not entirely sure. Yeah, so I got that. And then I got um, this. I already actually own this and I have it on my phone right now as I'm filming. But it's uh, my phone case itself is breaking and it's kind of like it's sticky, but obviously, after you stuck it on, it doesn't really stick anymore and it sticks really well. It's just a card holder, it's literally just 150. They have it in pink and other colors as well, but like I really like it and so I got another one uh, for another phone case. Uh, then I've been looking for like some just really pastel pastel blue that is not turquoise for so long so I got that uh, yeah by the way the cosmetics are all cruelty free they don't test them um, which is nice at least it's 150 euros so that's cool and I got this set of earrings because uh, fun fact I actually have 13 uh, piercing folds in my ears uh, and they were four euros which I think is absolutely fine they're really pretty like pink bluish crystals yeah so since I'm a hoarder and I always have to have things that I could possibly need around me I got this thing to fill up and it's already clearly filled up uh, it was 350 and there's also different colors like blue and I actually regret not getting one more in another color now but whatever I spent 54 euros in total with it, I'm gonna pull it up again. Yeah, so... And then I got these because I've been doing gel nails. Uh, and it's just like tiny hearts in white and pink and also gemstones in those colors. And it was 250, which is completely fine in my opinion. Um, I got these nail files uh, which were 150 which is way cheaper in other places and I used them for gel nails as well for prepping them so I got these and I got and I couldn't help but use this actually for my doing my eyebrows today I do them with random eyeshadow, but I got this set of brushes. There's a more angular one as well. That's the one I use, and it's 350 for a set. It's technically lip brushes, but I love using them on my eyebrows. I don't like normal eyebrow brushes, I don't know why, but yeah. So that's what I got, and I'm pretty sure that's already it. Though I definitely overspent because of Bershka. <laughs> yeah, but I hope you enjoyed this little haul. Uh, there's nothing much to do except meet friends sometimes if I get a corona test but I was feeling kind of sick so I didn't meet anyone but so I cancelled all my plans for the weekend and then I realized I'm actually fine and I'm also about to get another corona test today uh, so I didn't have plans and I've been working so much so I wanted to treat myself a bit so yeah uh, that's the whole. Hope you enjoyed. As always, other social media is TikTok, Pink Mink to Hima, Instagram, Pink Mink to Hima, and also have a Pinterest recently under the same Pink Mink to Hima. Spelled just exactly the same. All other accounts are unreal. 
uh, hope you enjoyed please like and subscribe um, comment whatever you want just be nice please um, yeah have a nice day bye bye